So I'm speaking with? Carter Schoenberg. And who are you with, Carter? I'm with Caliber Systems. All right, and uh, I want to ask you a question about insider threats. Now, when I think about it, I think, oh, I really hired the wrong person. Why did I hire that person? They're going to tear my company apart. But that's really not what an insider threat is, it? Well, today there's a lot of uh, presumptions about what insider threats really mean to each individual organization. Two different constructs. One, we tend to think about the, the Edward Snowden situation, but the reality of the situation is when we think about insider threats, we want to think about those that are doing things intentionally, but we also want to think about individuals that are doing things unintentionally, but because they're inside the domain, they have direct access to highly sensitive data. When we take into consideration that the majority of security events that are identified and reported, still today, better than 60 plus percent of those are done inside. 80 plus percent of that 65-ish percent are unintentional by nature. So is there some way that you can audit to see what user behavior is to say, you know, because a lot of people, you know, like you said, unintentional, you know, when they, when they are found doing something wrong, they're like, oh my God, I feel so horrible about it. You know, yes, I'm happy to, you know, fix that situation. Is there some kind of an audit process that goes on to determine that? Depends on the size, the scope, and the maturity of each organization. The, the more data points that you have, the harder it becomes to be able to do things in a manual perspective. So you do have audit log management type of tools that are out there, whether it's RSA and Vision or, or, or similar types of what we call audit log management type of devices. The challenge that still exists is, do you have the right individuals that still understand what they're looking for? One of the biggest challenges that I still see to date is what I call authorized but unapproved access, such as if Carter Schoenberg works in an infrastructure from 9 until 5, why is he logging in at 2.13 in the morning? That's usually one of the telltale signs of insider threat type of activities. But hold it, but in that scenario, uh, is it, are we assuming at this, this situation that someone got access to your account or, or something else has happened? I would say that to be determined. I do think that that should be the first tripwire, if you will, and what should be a little bit more of an in-depth and an iterative type of investigative process. When we also take into consideration that stats show about 40% of all users that have access to a core enterprise network environment, the credentials that they use to log into their infrastructure is the same credentials that they will use in terms of passwords for Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. So even if you want to think that your infrastructure is secure, we have all seen the data breaches that have taken place. So they've been able to compromise the password in these social media sites. 37 to 40% of those now have direct access to your core enterprise network environment. Let's boil it down to one or two things right now. And I know it gets far more detailed than that, but let's talk about like, biggest impact where would you start first if you just want to make the biggest impact i got very little time very little money where where am i going to start first it, it it's a fair question again i think that's going to come back to the size and the scope of the organization if you are a smaller or a smaller medium-sized organization being able to have policies and procedures in place that clearly define yes you have an individual whose core responsibility is to be able to do this that is where I would say would be the, the most prudent use of your resources. If you're talking about a very large, very robust, very complex type of organization, investment in an auto log management type of tool is probably going to be your best bet. Excellent. Carter, thank you so much for your time. You're quite welcome. Thank you for having me.